My name is Peter Christ. I'm chairman of a firm called Christ Colder. Uh, this is my 35th year of doing what I do, which is basically senior level executive search. If you summarize what we do, we're finders. We are typically looking for a number two who wants to be a number one. So I have to be uh, a genuine in my approach to you. I have to be honest. I have to be professional in terms of how I represent the situation. But I also have to uh, make a, a decision. Are you really appropriate for my client? In the end, on a search, I will meet um, 10, 20, 30 people to get to the one that I'm trying to find. My bride was a flight attendant. She got stationed in Chicago. I ended up here after I got out of Brown. And within a year, I was introduced to Russell Reynolds. They were looking for a young researcher. I signed up when I was 24 and had a great 18 years with Russell Reynolds. I like being old. <laughs> I mean, with, with age comes maturity. Um, it comes judgment, and, and after 35 years of doing this, my instincts are, are fairly well developed. I'm not always right, but after 35 years, I'm more right than wrong. I do believe the best recruiters are mature people. They've, they've seen a lot, so you then put it into a mature product, and the market likes that. The market likes gray hair. The market likes that I'm, that I'm old, and that's okay. <laughs> I'm in good health, <laughs> so that all, that all works. <laughs> Literally, when I was a young associate at Russell Reynolds in the 70s, there was a shoebox with three by five cards. That was research. I mean, a true story. There's pictures of it. The, the technology today has actually, it allows for a small firm like this, 14 people, to be bigger than it truly is. When I was 43, I was at a bit of a, a crossroads of my life because I was co-head of North America for the biggest firm at the time, Russell Reynolds, and my clients were saying, well, wh what are you doing? You know, you're running these things. We want you to do our work. And I had this kind of crisis of, I have to make a decision if I want to continue to run a big firm or do client work. And it was that point that I said, I want to do client work. I came to the conclusion I was going to start a firm and, and literally start a firm with nothing. This allows me tremendous flexibility. Here, I have a lot of help, but every day is disciplined. Every, every moment of time is taken, and that is the, the greatest reward I have in my life, is just being able to create a business that gives me the opportunity to do what I'm good at, which is client work.